I use. These are Felco II pruners. These are bypass pruners. The blade bypasses this curved anvil. That's how you cut. It's got a lock. This is the tool that I grab for the most, I think. Felco II pruners. There are a lot of different kinds of pruners out on the market. This is what I've been using for the last 16 years, and I'm, I'm, uh, just, I don't know if I'm going to change. I like this. These are available at uh, Sunny Farms. Sunny Farms has, and you can see on the, uh, the second sheet there, it's a list of uh, sources. The only local the source I know for Felco tools and silky saws and ARS tools is Sunny Farms. Swains has uh, a pretty good knockoff of this Felco II pruner. It's made by Perona, about half the price. So shop around, see what uh, works for you. But Felco makes a variety of different sizes. Left-handed pruner, uh, uh, carpal tunnel friendly pruner. <laughs> uh, I use these thinning shears quite a bit for detailed work. This is you know, just like scissors, really. Uh, a little bit heavier duty. But I use these for a lot of uh, deadheading of hydrangeas or roses, um, a lot of detail work on Japanese maples or, or uh, uh, Japanese pines. So these come in handy for a lot of things. Should we pass these or not? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Did any good bring bandages? <laughs> I'll pass these around because they're locked. <laughs> This is, a, this is a pruning saw, it's a 13 inch blade. The brand is Silky. The model is spelled Z-U-B-A-T. This is my go-to tool when I need to cut something bigger than the uh, shears will handle. This is a Silky uh, folding saw with a 6 inch blade. And this will handle a lot of things around the house or around the, the, the garden. Anything, oh, two inches or two, two to three inches in diameter, I would use this. Anything above that, I'll go for the bigger saw. So Silky is a, a very good quality brand of saw. Uh, so check at Sunny Farms and see what they've got. Um, they're, again, they're not cheap either, but for you know professional use, that's that's the way to go. Or if you want a tool that'll last a lifetime, go with something of high quality like that. There are some other things worth mentioning. This is a another kind of bypass pruner that's on a seven foot pole. So it does the same thing as those Falcos, but I don't have to go up the ladder. So uh, it's, there's a lot more stability using this. The, the payback is I lose accuracy if I'm working on something 10 feet away versus getting the ladder out and going four feet up the ladder to do the same thing that I would do with this. My cut will be more accurate. Should we pass this around? <laughs> <laughs> what diameter will that cut? Now, this doesn't have the strength that the hand pruners do. It'll cut three quarters of an inch or so, maximum. Okay. I brought these along. These are lopping shears. This is, kind of, this is kind of a cleanup tool for me. I don't do a lot of detailed pruning for this. This is something if you were Say you had a bunch of roses, overgrown roses, or barberries, or some thorny thing uh, that you needed to get into the center of to thin it up. This is a nice way to reach in and do some pruning. And you can also gently grab and pull stuff out. So lopping shears aren't the best tool in the world for detail work, but though it is a good cleaner tool if you need to cut stuff up into smaller pieces to fit it into your into a pickup truck or something. This is the lopping shears. I'm not going to go into power tools. Yes? Say something about sharp. Yeah, and we sharpen tools as needed. The, the, the pruning shears, Belco says sharpen the blade at a 22 and a half degree angle. <laughs> I, I don't have that kind of uh, setup in my garage. But you can estimate that and put a nice uh, edge on it with, with, I use a file. A regular flat file. Uh, the saws, these are not replaceable blades on the silky saws. When this wears out, I, I call up and order another blade. It's 
I've sent these off to get them sharpened in the past, and then they don't come back very nice. So uh, it's, it's a bit of a trade-off on, uh, but for, you know, for as much as I use a saw, I want a sharp blade. Instead of taking a chance on somebody sharpening it, sharpening it incorrectly or badly, I replace blades on the saw. How often might you need to replace? Granted, you're going to be do, using it more than we would, but you, every year or? Uh, yeah, probably, probably twice a year on the saw. And I go through and the, uh, on those pruning shears, all parts are replaceable on those uh, on all Felco uh, pruning shears. So you when, if, if you you don't want to sharpen the blade. You can just for $7.99 get a brand new blade and put it on and there's nothing like a factory sharpened blade. They're pretty nice. And maintenance, keep them sharp, keep them out of the elements. If you leave them out for a couple weeks, you're going to start seeing rust develop on them. Uh, keep them in the garage or keep them under cover. Uh, cleanliness is good, keep the tools clean. This is a daily maintenance thing. Give them a spritz of some WD-40 or something and then wipe them off with a cloth. That uh, kind of protects them from rust and uh, keeps them clean. Okay. Basically.